When we first purchased this house, there was a doorway to a hallway which led to a secondary bedroom. We always had this dream of creating a walk-in closet and an ensuite bathroom. So with this space, we decided to do just that. I want to take a second to thank today's video sponsor, which is Cricut Canada. And of course, as always, you guys for watching this video. It would be very hard to create all of this reno content without all of you watching. So thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. We got right into the demo work and uh, with the walls down, it was a lot easier to see the vision. So enter into your bedroom. There's going to be a door here and there's going to be a door here. One is going to go into the master closet and one is going to go into the master bathroom. And then, yeah, there's gonna be a tub under this window, a vanity here, a shower all on this back wall. It's honestly so nice to see progress happen because for the past couple of days, we've been doing a lot of like work in the basement that hasn't really, um, it doesn't really amount to anything. You don't really see much progress. Speaking of progress, as soon as I saw these walls go up, it was like I could finally see the vision coming to life. On the left hand side, we did the walk in closet. And if you haven't seen that video, it already lives on my channel, lucky for you. So go check out that closet transformation. On the right hand side was the bathroom. And there was a bit of a challenge trying to make sure that everything would fit into this bathroom. I wanted a shower and a tub, which definitely posed to be difficult. Okay, let me show you the vibe of the bathroom, okay? So it's gonna be like one long vanity. There'll be two drawers here. There's gonna be vessel sinks. Now either going to do two small arched mirrors or there's a possibility of doing one big arched mirror. I haven't really figured that one out yet. biggest change since I last saw you guys is the bathroom. Um, the floor is obviously protected right now, but lots of tile has gone up in the bathroom. And we have the faucets installed there and it's all coming together. So Michael got me these for Christmas and these are gonna hold our towels by the shower. Let me give you guys an update. It's been quite a while, so I wanna show you how everything's looking. We have shower glass. It's very echoing here. Looks so good. We've hung up some hooks over there for the towels, and the vanity looks amazing. We still need a toilet paper holder. <laughs> toilet. Um, here's the tub with the little shelf in the back there. And there's the backyard, looking beautiful. We had the niche done like this, just because typically I have large bottles of like shampoo and conditioner. So that looks really good. We did all gold in here as well, the rain shower head, and then the penny tile we did on the floor. Looks marvelous with the gold, even on the shower. How good do these look? I feel like because this bathroom is so white, a wood mirror just does it all. And it's like a, a thick enough frame too that, <laughs> did you just see that? That um, you can actually like use this as a shelf, which I think is cool. That would be good for like sitting rings on or whatnot. So I've moved our stuff into this vanity, but it needs some help, truly like, we have just mostly thrown all the stuff in. If you're wondering where all of like the towels and linen stuff is, I kept that in our bedroom closet. So this is what that's looking like. It's just like, it's not aesthetically pleasing to look at. I know it's just a linen closet, but I would like to make this, you know, a little more 
organized and you know everything stays very nice and organized and we can check bathroom off of our list. Today we are going to be putting my Cricut Explore 3 to work in order to tackle these two chaotic spaces. Cricut is a smart cutting machine that allows you to personalize your home and your life using hundreds of materials. So you can use everything from card and paper to vinyl and iron-on. Some machines even cut leather, fabric, and wood. Cricut machines use a software called Design Space. You can create your own designs or you can choose from hundreds of images and fonts. The possibilities are truly endless with what you can create. But today, let me show you how I'm gonna make my own customizable labels. I was always so impressed when I saw others organizing their homes with custom labels, so I'm really excited to show you not just how easy it is, but also how quick it actually is. So I'm using this like arch shape from the shapes menu and I love this. For a tag, I think it's gonna be great. I'm using the circle just to tell the machine that I want there to be a hole cut here. That's where we're going to attach the tag to our baskets. So I went ahead, I duplicated that four times because I need four labels. And then there's a little button down here and you're gonna click attach. That's just gonna make sure that the machine actually knows, okay, I don't want a circle and an arch. I want them cut together. I am loading my cardstock into the machine and then you're able to actually tell the machine that you've loaded what kind of material and how you've loaded it. So I'm clicking on mat here and then when it asks me what uh, material I'm using, which will happen here, um, I've clicked medium cardstock. So that's gonna go ahead and that's gonna cut sometimes, somehow, I'm always impressed like I know it's what it's gonna do I know it's gonna cut the perfect shape but I'm this thing impresses me with what it's look at this okay perfection the next step is to create our font and our labels which I'm going to use some vinyl to do so clicking the text button and figuring out exactly what I want to write I wanted there to also be a little bit of a design on this so I'm importing my own that I made and I just thought that this would be so my vibe and look so cute on these tags. So once I'm done, I am picked this like beautiful coral uh, removable vinyl and then, you know, the drill, I'm cutting it up. And look at this, look at this. Oh, see, I'm still so impressed. I'm using some transfer tape. This makes it really easy to take your labels and put them onto your tags. I'm using a hard card just to like press that on, make sure it's on good. My favorite thing about this machine is it takes a task that typically I would see as difficult and it simplifies it allowing me to get more creative with my DIYs because like whatever I can think up this machine can handle and it brings all of my ideas to life. Anyways so I had these beautiful wicker baskets and I wanted to tie these on so I decided I'm going to use some jute string and I'm going to put them through the tags. To do this, all you have to do is cut any kind of length you want, tie it on one end, and then loop the one end through your little tag. Easy peasy. Then to apply it to the basket, you're just gonna do the same thing that you did to apply it to your tag. You're gonna loop it through, and we have this beautiful now basket where Michael knows, okay, this is where you're gonna find the bedding. Okay, the bedding, Michael. <laughs> I'm just kidding, he knows where the bedding is, but I just mean like you can put like a full bed set into the basket and then like, you know, when you throw one in the wash, you're like, okay, here's the next bed set, the extra bed set, it's all in one place. You know how flat sheets can get, you know, thrown in there and lost. So this is the before and the after. It's just beautiful. I am the home edit, thank you so much. Okay beautiful so now we have to tackle that really horrible drawer in the bathroom I did this simply by making some labels that I'm going to stick on to like little white containers I thought that was like the easiest way to do this I cut some of my labels in that same coral color and then also some of them in white and then I took everything out because that is always the best way to start gave that drawer a nice clean and then these are the little white baskets that i used these dividers came with the vanity luckily and i know it's gonna kill you but six didn't fit because the back one hits the back of the sink drain yeah it's killing me as well 
But this is how you apply your little labels. You put the transfer tape on, press down with a hard card or your Cricut tool, and then you pull off that transfer tape and it's as easy as one, two, three. Look at this. I am amazing. I know, I know. So if I ever forget or anything goes, I have previous Tasha to remind me. This is just satisfying. Any kind of home organization, it makes me drool. I just love it so much. So I'm gonna put this Birds of Paradise in the corner here. Add some life into the space. I think that looks really cute. I was able to get these off Amazon. They are just toilet paper holders, hoping that they're a good gold. They are, okay, perfect. It's really hard to tell on Amazon, like if something's gonna be a good gold and that'll be perfect. So I got two of them. I got one for the guest bathroom because we're doing gold in there and they had like a two for, I think it was like 30 bucks. Thinking that we just, you know, put it right on the vanity, right? Okay, so one of the last few things we need to do before final touches is we need to paint the door. We need to paint the trim around the door, the trim around this window. I have acquired my minion to paint. That's you. <laughs> You're the minion. You're hilarious. Let us recall the secondary bedroom as it was, linoleum floor, wallpaper on the wall. Again, a big thank you to my friends at Cricut Canada for sponsoring today's video. Make sure that you're following them on Pinterest, Instagram, and of course Facebook for all of the best DIY inspiration. Thanks so much for watching you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.